Hello and welcome. We are looking for two million dollar homes around the country. It all started off with Pierce Brosnan uh, put his home up for sale in Malibu for a hundred million dollars and posed the question what if you bought two million dollar homes around the country? So this time we are in Georgia which was very surprising. It had a tremendous amount of homes in the 1.5 to $2 million range and what was kind of odd is uh, they didn't have many homes over 10 million so they have this great range of homes in, in that price range and also um, it had a great curve because you could have your uh, big home that didn't have much land and then you could have your small home that had a whole lot of land and they had a lot of each so there's a, a good amount of homes that had uh, 100 plus acres but like I said the homes were plain and they even had what we found was a mixture of um, 14 homes over 10,000 square feet. So we decided to focus on that. Even though Georgia does have homes on the Atlantic Ocean, I forgot about that. Is that there's a little uh, piece of land of Georgia that is connected to the Atlantic Ocean. So you could have oceanside property in Georgia. But they, those weren't as interesting as South Carolina. So we're just sticking to the 10,000 square foot homes and above. So here we go. Uh, this first one is a little bit far out uh, from Atlanta. And so that's why it got pushed down. And it's also, you look at it, it's just not super impressive. It is, it, this is right at 10,000 square feet. It's a seven bedrooms, but it's been cleared out. So I think that kind of hurts it a little bit. And also the floors, I, I think if they were darker, it would kind of help it because it, it's just kind of blah. It, and so the rest of it's just kind of like that. So it's hard to get a great feel of this house. Um, moving on. Next up. Uh, this one is at 12,569 square feet and seven bedrooms. It had a weird curb appeal when you go up to it and didn't quite decide what it wanted to be. And, and it has a guest house, which is nice. And it has some acreage, which is nice. But there's just something about the overall interior was just sort of plain. So that, yeah. Um, I don't know. Again, I, th I think not having the contrast of the floor kind of hurt this a little bit. I'm sure in person it's spectacular, but um, it just didn't kind of compare with some of the other ones. And it was, and here's the deal I found on these homes is that there is kind of this circle around Atlanta, most uh, about an hour away from downtown Atlanta. And about 45 minutes to an hour from Truist Field, which is where the Braves play. I, I think I pronounced it wrong. But they play up here now. And that's where all these homes were. They were like in this little semicircle on the outskirts of Atlanta. Kind of 45 minutes to an hour out. So that was just kind of interesting. And the other thing, which was weird, is that these homes in particular uh, were either made in 89 or 90 or 2006 or 2007. So, I mean, I, I bet after that, that the housing bus probably slowed it down for that. But it was just interesting to see when these houses hit. Um, so, let's see. Going back to this one. It was just, again, just kind of... It wasn't bad. It was just kind of plain for what it was. Okay, so moving on. Uh, so, this one had a little bit better exterior appeal. Again, now this one I think it went down to because it was so far out uh, east over by Augusta. Um, which, if you, uh, you know, like the Masters, I guess it would be the place to go. And, and it had the high ceilings and it kind of had some of the warmer textures of the walls. So, they always painted them and made them kind of different. But there was no pool for this sucker. So, I don't know. That was kind of strange. And it's always weird because they'll throw in, oh, you. We don't have a pool, but you can go to this country club nearby. And it's like, really? $1.7 million. You should, you should have this. Um, this house has a, a pool and a basketball court, and it's lit. And that's cool. And it, again, it's this hour away from downtown Atlanta and the ring of rich folk, I guess. Um, but there's just something about, like, the front was just really funky with these columns. It just looked like the mask of Bane and Batman, you know, it just, I don't know, it just wasn't very, I know what they're going for, and it just didn't pull it off, and the interior kind of looked plain, so, and they have this weird, like, mural right here that it's just trying to be fancier than I think what it is, so, anyway, moving on. 
So this one is just the opposite. It has great curb appeal. It kind of looks like a big mansion. I, I don't know, Miami Vice or something. It just remind me of, of someone who has money and likes to show it. And it has all these great windows on the back. And it's light and airy. Uh, it, it was down because it's a little bit outside of Atlanta. That's why I got knocked a bit. A, a big outdoor patio and pool. The indoor is very light and airy. Uh, plenty of uh, like I said light coming in and the um, kitchen was nice with different exteriors I think it just being a little bit further out from uh, Atlanta kind of knocked it down just a bit uh, moving on this one actually I probably could have flip-flopped the two but it, this one was closer to Atlanta so I think that's probably what moved it up a little bit it had a you know a nice solid brick exterior nothing wrong with it and the the inside was just you know safe i think i think is a term for it and i think nowadays these wood kitchens kind of look really strange but um it just you know it's hard to say that a 10,431 square foot home is not special but it did have seven bedrooms which we'll get to and some of the other rooms it's like it doesn't have a pool but you can go to this club i'm like a 1.7 million dollar home should have its own pool come on this house was also in the ring of rich folk a little bit closer um and it had a uh, good curb appeal plenty of different balconies and and overlooks the i'm not quite sure about the pool it, it almost looks like a little um reflecting pond it's, it's very very subtle so i don't know if it's just been there forever the the interior is they they went with the columns it's just a little bit more lavish with the decorations so um not crazy about the wallpaper but at least they're trying they try to decorate it and kind of make it more special and not quite so plain i like i like this back uh sunroom too uh it was a uh, fun good entertainment area but what was weird was like these shelves, let me look at them big. They just look like something from Ikea. And it was this very, like a big fancy home and you have Ikea wine shelves. It was just kind of weird. That part was strange. Uh, but anyway, moving on. Uh, this house, not crazy from the outside. And this is, you know, the Southern portion of our rich folk ring of honor. Um, so it, uh, they tried to make it kind of more modern so the walls are very white but the flooring was wood and darker so i think that kind of worked more for it that it, it gave it more the modern feel i'm sure these weren't the original colors of everything they did this to kind of give it more of a modern sensibilities and there's even like this bed <laughs> they, they well let's have a modern bed in here so they're trying a little too hard on that one um and this one also they put into more modern furniture so overall nice but these houses really don't have a whole lot of just drop dead spectacular over the top rich people folk Th this did have a view of a river which was nice and and a nice pool uh, so that was cool uh moving on oh let's scroll this to the top 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 um this one is to the west of our little ring of honor and this one was initially up top because this had a nice mix of a big home at over 10,000 square feet and uh, 26 acres. So, and it kind of had a, you know, rustic outdoor to it and the indoor. Also, it, it had a lot of a wood, but it's almost like they couldn't pick a design and stick with it. It kind of floated in and out of different things. I just kind of wanted them to pick a direction and go with it uh, see it just floats from you know Montana Ranch to modern back and forth if they just went with one direction I think it would help unify things a little bit but it had a big slide into the pool and, and otherwise uh, you know you got like 26 acres so that's cool uh, moving on this had just great it drive up it just looks regal there's a lot of house seven bedrooms um and it had uh pretty safe interiors i did like the wood flooring and it nothing too 
crazy, but just a very solid home, which <laughs> you would hope for $2 million. It's a solid home. Uh, this house um, was on this lake, and this lake is just wonderful. I mean, there's just so many little cubby holes for fishing or playing. You have this big area for, you know, going all out water, you know, sports and plenty of fishing. I just, what a great lake. Um, and it has a boat dock on that. But the outside, they don't quite pull off. They're going for a villa look, and it doesn't quite have that. I do like the windows in the back of it. Um, but this dock is just it's been around they i wish they could redo it uh but to be on the lake is a good thing i do like this the bright open uh spaces of this quite a bit because you could have one heck of a party in this area uh, and it's, it's just a fabulous with the, the windows and everything would be a wonderful wonderful place for entertainment but i I, I just to look down and to see the people and everything and oh that's a cool bed but it and it has a great bar area in the bottom uh, with a pool table and a downstairs entertaining spot so you know you could have your separate parties going on didn't have a ping pong table so boo um, and I don't think this one had a pool either which is kind of weird but you know they had the lake but anyway access to a country club I guess so this had the uh, stone exterior and again this is located um, oh and this was a great area because near Duluth was uh, there's a bunch of great uh, Korean restaurants I think up around that area actually it's closer to here anyway never mind uh, but not too far away uh, but this is a house uh, on, a, on a golf course and so if you're into the golf living, this is definitely a good house for you. But they textured the walls and the ceilings and they put in moldings and they did more than compared to some of those other houses with just the white plain walls. I, I appreciate it. They even did this kind of aged exposed brick business, which <laughs> either you like it or you don't. But um, I think it works. And they have a good pool with a hot tub and of course all your fixtures and a massive massive pantry uh an extra fridge in the back too so uh wonderful open uh, entertaining areas i it just had um a good feel to it it could use a little color i mean i, I get what they're going for but it could use some color uh, so uh number two so this house uh let's see where it is in the ring of so it is up here too. Uh, again, these are all 45 minutes an hour away. But outside, not terribly impressive. I, I like the pool layout, the hot tub, and it's got a slide into it. So all that's very cool. Um, but the interior, it just was interesting. It kind of had a European uh, feel to it. And um, with the beams exposed and the wood all over the house and it, the chandelier and, and everything into the ceilings was just wonderful but down here if you keep going there's just some other little uh surprises that it has an elevator and their lower floors they have you know the downstairs bar area that's all wood enclosed and then it has um this area you know with the pool table and that looks like a slot machine or something uh, let's see what that is yep looks like a slot, slot machine uh, and it so it has this kind of with all the rocks and everything it just looks like a, this is a proper wine cellar it just was an interesting you know like almost a private little area and they have their own little uh, viewing room and everything I, I just like the attention to detail in this so much better and this seemed like a bigger house and it's got 12,267 square feet oh that was the funny thing about this house it's only four bedroom 10,000 square feet only four bedroom that's all they could eke out this one just feels like a bigger house and maybe that's the way they photographed it but I just really enjoyed it and it's got this pond too so there's nobody directly behind you 
And the number one is kind of at 13,000 square feet. They probably threw some stuff together, but I just, uh, it, it was kind of a con, the sum is greater than the parts kind of deal. Because the inside, they remodeled it. And, you know, so it's not as grandiose as some of these other ones, but I like the way they did it. I, I like the contrasting floors, I like the sunroom, uh, I like the way that the wood in the kitchen, and, and yet it still has some of the lightness, it has a modern feel to it, so it, it doesn't have the big grandiose rooms of the other, but I like the clean way that they remodeled it. I think in this case, the white gives it more space, but then all the windows still open it up. So all that is nice on its own, but then in addition to this, um, then it has just some kind of plain areas, but it also has a guest house. So it, it's got like uh, this whole little one bedroom guest house, and then it's got a horse barn, which you know most of the time I don't care, but this just happened to have a horse barn that you could use for other stuff as well. But then it has a super massive barn uh, that looked like you could build a 747 in it. Uh, let me get a good view of this. So this whole big barn area and, um, you know, so you can, you have your indoor basketball, you could, uh, you have your whole weight area over here. You could pull in an RV. I believe it has RV hookups in there. You could lift a car and do, you know, you have all your woodworking stuff over here, your shop equipment. And then there's, Oh, by the way, there's a separate, um, um, play area so everybody can play billiards and shuttle ball or whatever you call it. and it has a bathroom <gasps> I don't know why they threw that in there um, but it has like a separate office too so if you just needed um, a private space it has enough space for a whole business over here so you have the house a guest house horse barn and a big barn so There we go. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, George is on my mind. I hope it is yours too. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, see you next time.